Today we're going to look at the EcoWorthy 100 watt solar panel. Just ordered it a couple of days ago uh, and it, it's already arrived which is great. Uh, so we're going to take it out of the box, have a look and have a review of uh, what's going on. This is actually a complete beginner's kit, or I hope so. Uh, yeah, let's uh, open up and see what's, uh, what's inside. So it opens from the top end here and we can gently pull out our lovely solar panel. Pull out the box there. Take the protective cover off, it's nicely wrapped um, in quite a thick, quite a nice thick box. Um, and all looks like it comes out beautifully. You've got the lovely dark monocrystalline solar cells on it there um, and an aluminium frame, anti-corrosive aluminium frame. It's a little bit sharp on the edges so be a little bit careful there um, and comes tagged with Ecoworthy. On the back you can see you've got your junction box um, and your MC4 connectors, the male and female ones of those, already hooked up and ready to go um, in a waterproof junction box there, which is IP65 rated waterproofing. Um, obviously that will be on the bottom side as well, so probably won't be getting too much rain on it if you do leave it outside. Um, also coming in the kit, you've got the rest of the things that hopefully you'd need to, to get started. Um, have a look we've got a uh, instruction manual um, instruction manual uh, installation manual have a look through this it's um, looks like it's got a pretty thorough installation guide yep yeah, so it's, it walks you through exactly how to install everything um, whether to connect, if you've got multiple panels, to connect them in series or parallel, how to do that. Um, and how to even fix it in place, um, use the mounting system that it comes with. Um, and then how to connect to the battery, uh, to an inverter, all that sort of stuff with your nice wiring diagrams there. So that's really helpful. Um, now on to all the other bits and bobs and accessories in another plastic bag you've got your mc4 adapter cables here which are going to run from your solar cables on the back there into your charge controller um, so you're going to run your positive cable um, from the positive male end on the solar panel to this positive cable into your solar charge controller and the same with um, your fever, your male end and your negative cable, just be a bit careful because they do mark them with pluses and minuses in on the male and female ends, which actually don't quite tally up to the positive and negative side of your circuit. Uh, one thing as well that's a little bit annoying: the ends of the wires don't get stripped. These adapter cables should have, or well, they will have, once you set it up, stripped ends to the cables, so that you can either attach a lug to go into your charge controller or to screw a, the, the uh, stripped end into your solar charge controller. So you will need to strip and sort that out. But let's see what else we've got in the kit. Um, I'm assuming these are our, these are our mounting systems. You can get into those. Screws and Z bracket mounts. So those will fit nicely onto the solar panel I should hope. Let's see if there's some pre-drilled pre holes. Yep, on the back of here you've got your pre-drilled holes to mount your Z brackets onto there. Um, very easy to do. So you can drill holes in your roof and or top of your van or wherever you're placing them. Attach one to your solar, attach one to your solar panel attach them to your structure um, and then the final part of this kit is the solar charge controller and actually in the top here you've got some little connection lugs uh, to basically strip the end of your MC4 adapter pop that on the end like so um, and you can 
tighten that on and then connect it easily into your solar charge controller. As you can see, there's screws on the bottom there for you to plug into. Uh, what's nice about this one is it's got two USB, pan USB ports, so you could plug your devices, phones and whatnot straight into there and start charging. Pretty simple on off switch on the front there. It's lightweight, it's 12 volt and 20 volt auto, so it will automatically detect your system and rated to 30 amps, which is written on the back there. Um, so that's everything you've got in your eco worthy 100 watt starter kit basically. Um, there's a instruction manual for the solar power connector as well. The only thing really missing now from a system is your battery. Uh, I've actually got a 75 amp hour battery that I'm going to hook all this up to and get it working. Um, so we'll go through a setup video. Um, and you'll also need battery cables because at the moment with this kit, you've got nothing to run from your solar power controller to your battery. So you'll need to get some wires for those with some lugs or clips on the end to connect your battery. And we'll go through those in a complete setup video. Um, but yeah, there you go. Everything you need. You've got a nice 100 watt solar panel, um, controller, adapter cables, solar panel cables. So you can actually connect your solar panel to your charge controller and mount it. And then you just need to connect up to your battery. Lovely.